like life-saving. Right? So I was a counselor at a boys camp and I was a sailing guy and this and the other, but the, the guys who used to teach the kids how to be like lifesavers, like for a summer job, um, they used to have this saying, reach, throw, row, go. So the second you see a guy drowning or failing, you reach for him, right? And, and if you can't reach him, right, you throw them a buoy or something so they can grab it, an inner tube. And if you don't, if it's too far from that or you don't have something, you get in a rowboat or something where you row out to them. And if you don't have that, if you don't have that, you jump in to save them. And it's the same thing with these shorts, right? I have something identified and I probably have in my head five, 600 names in my head at any one time literally. And in my head, there are various forms of reach, throw, row, go. But when they hit go, and it's all syncs up, I go. And that's, and, and that's how I try to get timing. I'm not interested in reach, right? right? Like a lot of guys, like you mentioned Tesla. Tesla to me is a reach, a reach. or Tesla is a throw. Right, it's, it's clear the guy's burning cash. It's clear that he has issues, but he has so, much, so many believers in an easy money environment where people believe in pie in the sky stuff. It's early, okay? I would rather short Tesla, seriously, and I will be, at probably 140, right. down from 340, when this guy is floating around, limped, can't raise money, Story has holes in it, this, that, and the other. And, and, and I always say jaguar in a tree. There's some guys who are interested in climbing a tree and wrestling a jaguar out of the tree. Well, that's great. He can bite off your arm. He can he cut you up. He can do all sorts of things, and he can knock you out of the tree. I'm interested when a guy like you or Luke shoots the jaguar out of the tree, <laughs> the jaguar's on the ground, screaming, crying, whatever, and once the thing is all disembottled on the ground, I'll go in and cut them up. Right. That's, that's what I'll do at age 57. So I, I don't tackle anything that has momentum, unanalyzable, just because it's too high. Like the fang stocks, I could care less. I, I could care less. I could care less what Kramer's touting. I could care less about the Nifty or IBD 100 or whatever the hell's going. No interest. And I'm also not interested in well-managed, well-run companies who invest for the future. I've never been short Amazon once. I've never been short Google, Facebook, Netflix, any of those guys. And you know what? Those guys don't know me. Right. Or if they know me, they know me in a distance, right? The rat bastards and the motherfuckers of the world who cheat and steal, they know me quite well. They yeah. know who I am, they know what I'm up to, and they know that I'm potentially out there for them. Because if you're legit and you play by the rules and you just run regular things, I don't short stocks because you're going to miss a quarter right, or, right. or Netflix is going to cut price, raise prices. And then you could tell me tomorrow Facebook's going to do this and the other. I couldn't tell you what the stock would do. But I would tell you that if my medics gets raided by the feds, yeah. right, or, or they take away Petit Pete to you know, make him resign or conduct an internal investigation, I'll tell you the stock will go down 80%. Yeah. So I try to get involved in analyzable situations where I think I have a jump, where I think I can out think hustle, figure someone else and stay away from this stuff where it either is caught in a market ether, unanalyzable, or people think it could go to, to the moon. Because I, I don't want to get into a debate with anyone over valuation or how high it can go. <laughs>